All right, fans, Brick Variant's back, man. We got lots and lots of sets tonight to go through. Um, this is my 1,000 subscriber special video. I'm doing a haul video, an investment haul video for you. Normally, I do not do haul videos, mainly because I don't like watching them on YouTube. I don't like filming them, and I just feel funny about doing haul videos. I don't know why, but that's why I don't do them. But I know a lot of people do like watching haul videos, so I thought just for the 1,000 subscriber, I'll do a haul video and show you guys what the sets I've picked up over the last uh, two months. Well, let's get right to it. So first up, we have the Lego City, the Airport VIP. Now I have all of these airport sets stashed away. Um, I'm not breaking all those out right now, but again, I have not done a video on these things, but I do like these. I got it for, I think, 30% off, and I will have a video upcoming on the channel about my expectations for this set, but I do believe I can get at least 25 to 30% um, when I flip this thing. The main reason because Lego only does the airport about every five years. So once the set retires, you're not gonna see it again for a while. Although the friends, they do have an airport set with that, which concerns me. We'll talk more about that in the video when I do it. But anyways, I picked this up and that goes over here. So up next we have, you can tell I'm kind of a superhero guy. And here we go, Crossbones uh, Hazard Heist. Uh, I love any uh, villain vehicle sets and this one is a great looking one. You do get the three figs. Uh, they are all exclusive, although Black Widow has been in a bunch of other sets. Uh, yeah, I, I like it. I mean, I, I have to do a video on this. I haven't done one yet, uh, but I am optimistic on this set. I got it for 25% off. I found a copy still stashed on the shelf. I'm optimistic. I can, I'm can. i sure I can get at least 20-25% profit on this when I flip it, so um, I'll let you know how that goes when the time comes. So moving over here. Up next, we have a set that I have done two videos on the Beatles Yellow Submarine set, and I absolutely love this set. All minifigs are exclusive, plus this ridiculous looking thing over here. The build is phenomenal. Um, this has been discounted quite a bit on Amazon, 20% uh, off, which is surprising. Uh, again, like I said, I have two of these, uh, two videos on this already. I have high hopes for it. I think I have three of them back there. And um, yeah, you know, I, I'm, I'm expecting to do very well with this one, so let's move on. Up next, we got the Flash Speeder. Now, I did find this one on the shelf a couple months ago. Grabbed it real quick. Uh, I don't think it was discounted. I'm not sure if I remember correctly, but uh, this one's one of the ones I really, this is one of those cold buys. When I just grab it off the shelf, I see one, I don't have it, I just grab it. I think I paid, um, I think I did pay 20% off on this, if I recall correctly. Uh, I don't know what, what's gonna happen with this set. I've not really analyzed it, I haven't looked at it. Um, I will do a video on it upcoming at some point, but I'm a big Star Wars land speeder collector. I like all the land speeders more so than the ships. So that's kind of why I got it. I figure, well, if I don't wind up flipping it, I can always keep it myself and add it to my land speeder collection. All right, here we go. Next one we have is this one we did a video on. I did a video on. This is the Kryptonite Inception, a 306 piece set. Uh, with a great Batmobile build from the movie. Uh, the mini figs, granted, are very weak. Um, I sort of talked about that in my video on this set, but I think the build and the concept of the set, and being it's only a 306 piece set, I think there's a lot for it. And um, if you want more specs on that, check out the video on my channel. Up next, we have another superhero set. The Black Panther Pursuit, which I did a video for. And you'll notice, a lot of the sets I buy, I do videos of. So. The big, the big X factor with the Black Panther pursuit is, well, he is exclusive, but these two guys, are, they're so common in many sets, they're not gonna drive the value much. But the thing here is, the Black Panther movie is coming out, um, I think it's in 2018 it might be coming out. So let's see how it does. If it truly takes off and, and spurs a franchise, this set will be very desirable, as this will be the first time Black Panther appeared um, in a Lego set. So we'll see on that. Up next, we got Probably my favorite villain build um, vehicle since the Joker steamroll in 2014. This is the Joker Notorious Lowrider. Um, a little expensive with the piece count, but I think it's a trade-off because this is a fantastic looking build. This vehicle really suits him. Up until now, I thought the Joker Steamroller was the best villain vehicle ever. This one definitely, definitely gives it a run for its money. And the figs that come with it are very strong. Coincidentally enough, the uh, Joker Steamroll also came with a Batgirl, so interesting on that. But yeah, they're all exclusive, they look fantastic, and I have high hopes for it. The set retailed a little higher than I think it should have, but I guess because of the, um, the licensing and all that, uh, we'll see how it goes. But I did a video on this on my channel, so if you want more specs on that, you'll have to check it out. 
Up next, we got this one, which I have not done a video on yet. This is the uh, Batman Scarecrow Harvest of Fear. This was a 2016 set. It has been heavily discounted on Amazon since it came out. Um, but what I do like about it, and I haven't done a video yet, but I will, um, this is a farm theme, and we don't get many farm vehicles from LEGO anymore. We, in 2009, I believe we got the farm sets from them, but it only lasted about, what, two years? We haven't seen them since. It's the first time we've seen anything like that. So that for that reason, I bought it. Um, this looks fantastic. Love the tractor. Uh, the minifigs are a bit weak, I grant you that, but they're still strong enough. There is another killer moth out there with those mighty micro sets, uh, but this one's much more detailed, I think, and more, um, more desirable. Now, what I also like is the, the attack copter. Now, I, we've, had, we've had helicopters before, but this one's built more of in a mold of an Apache attack helicopter, which I really like. And I really like the coloring they chose for this. They didn't go with just all black. I, I, I hate when they do that. I, the black is fine, but I want to see other blue and, and gray are also his colors. I'm glad they mixed those in. It makes it look really sharp. And I think all three of those builds are spectacular, and that's why I got it. Again, I will do a video on this set uh, upcoming to uh, further detail what I think, but I'm confident at the very least I can flip this for a 25% profit. Up next, we got the big one. The Batman Batcave. This one is a huge set. It came out last year, so it's gonna have about an 18 month shelf life. It is retiring. It has been discounted on Lego Shop at Home. Um, but there's a lot to like about this set. Mainly, the minifigs are all exclusive, and these are all tied to the original uh, Batman show from the 1960s. There was a lot of complaint on, on the YouTube and in the forums about this set from A Falls. They felt that it, it, you know, they didn't like it for various reasons. Um, I'm not sure I understand why, because they captured all of the essential elements from the TV show in this set and made it a really nice display play set. Uh, this r alone right now, the uh, the bat uh, no, the Batmobile uh, is phenomenal. All the vehicles, everything's there. And uh, to me, this Batman here is the best printing Batman they've done um, in all their series. So I did a video on this. You guys can check that out if you like. Um, I have two of these. I have one plus one back in storage. And I also have one that I built, so I'm kind of stocking up on this. If you can't tell, I'm a superhero guy, so I always kind of lean that way when I do my buys. I always figure, look, if I decided to sell it later, I don't mind keeping it. That's the Batcave. On to the last set we have. The last big one we have is the... Ugh, we have the Simpsons House, which is a really underrated set, I think, in terms of the build. I mean, you know, we don't get many big houses anymore out of LEGO. We got a bunch of them from like 2010 and... 2008 and 2009 at the Apple Tree House and and some of the other ones, but this one's a big one and it's built very well. It's it's very it's very simple but very um, detailed on the inside. The minifigs, I will grant you, they are they are kind of weak. Um, the Simpsons minifigs they just have not done that well in the secondary market. Uh, my personal theory is that the Simpsons TV show has been on for so long. I mean, we're talking like almost 20 some years and I think fans are, it's kind of saturated. I think it needs to go away for a while, uh, maybe five years, let fans rediscover it. And then when they do, I think this thing will definitely do very, very well. Perhaps even the minifigs will help drive the price a little bit. So I did a video on this on my channel, so definitely check that out. And um, you know, I'll, uh, you know, check it out if you like it. So that's that. So once again, I want to thank everybody for uh, subscribing, taking the time. Uh, I get a lot of comments and a lot of messages, uh, a lot of positives, some negatives. Um, it's okay to shoot a negative and be constructive in your criticism as long as you're being respectful. Um, I do have thick skin. I'm a pretty tough guy, so don't worry about that. You're not going to hurt my feelings. Uh, yeah, great fans out there. Made a lot of uh, new uh, new contacts through this thing. And uh, I'm really happy that we can have a channel where that's dedicated pretty much to the investing side of it. And... Uh, we get some great conversations and great networking out of it. And we're build, we're slowly building a video database to kind of track all this stuff. So anyways, folks, that's all I got, man. I'll see you later. Bye.